Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. This, if you're watching this, this is sort of like a little bit of a vlog in reverse because we're actually home now and I've been outside walking. I'm in my crutzy Patriots t-shirt with my, you know, I cut, I hate anything tight up on my neck. So I always cut the neck open of my t-shirts. But Jay and I ended up taking a trip and I'm gonna share it in this vlog. I'm not gonna really talk about makeup, although I will tell you that I did get the kick-ass, the Soap and Glory kick-ass foundation. And um, it is a dupe for the CYO, an exact dupe for the CYO. Now, I haven't really put it to a huge test yet, although I have worn it for a few days. I actually have it on right now. I have the number five on, but it, so far, I think it wears really well, and I would say it is definitely a dupe for the CYO. And there are those people that say the CYO is a dupe for the YSL. I don't know. I love my YSL. I love the ingredients of the CYO better, and the Kick-Ass Soap and Glory has the exact same ingredients as the CYO. So in an upcoming video, I will discuss my thoughts on it and show you or talk to you about my wear test. But oh, bugs are really bugging me. But anyways, I just want to welcome you to my vlog. I'm going to put some timestamps because this vlog is all over the place. Bar Harbor, Acadia, Canada, you know, so I'll put some timestamps in it. But I also wanted to tell you when I came home, I hit a huge milestone on my YouTube channel. I hit 10,000 subscribers. Every single video that I've uploaded, I've uploaded because A, I wanted to share the content, B, I wanted to tell a story, a message, share my message, talk about beauty, talk about makeup, anti-aging. But more importantly, I did it because I actually love videos. I love creating them. So to have hit the 10,000 milestone when I came home was like unbelievable. It's still a shock to me. So I am gonna be preparing a giveaway. And by the time you see this, who knows, I'll probably have it already formulated. But I'm just super excited about that. I owe it all to you. You guys have been amazing, amazing support systems for me. Amazing. And I truly appreciate it. So we are off and running, right, Mr. McGillicuddy? We're off and running. We're off and running. So we're heading, we, you know, we kind of like Hemet and Harmon because the motorhome isn't done and wanted to go and do something. And so we made a decision yesterday to just leave today. And we're heading up to Ultimate Destination. It's going to be Bar Harbor. And I think we're going to go over to... We're get, are we going to go to Canada? What is that island called? Campabella. Campabella. I think we're going to ultimately make our way up to Campabella. But we're going to stay in Bar Harbor. We're going to visit friends there. You know, a place where we normally camp. Um, but we're staying in a motel, so it's going to be a whole different experience for us to be moteling it rather than camping it. But, and then we're going to do a day trip probably to Campabella and a few other different things. Jay's driving. And... Oh, we've got like, I don't know, what, another four-hour road trip ahead of us to get there? Yeah, we're just going to ease our way up. Yeah, we'll make stops and do things like that. So, that's on the agenda. Ciao. Ciao, we're baby. Crossing over this bridge. I'm going to show you the view here. I really can't see the view on the other side, but yeah. remember when this was like just a little rickety little bridge? Yeah, it was scary. And you, yeah, I was gonna say, you used to hate going over it. We, we arrived in time for cocktails and watching Jimmy overlook Western Bay in the Bar Harbor KOA. We were exhausted, it was a long trip, but we we're so happy to be there. We made it yesterday to Bar Harbor checked into our hotel our motel 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 and uh, then we went and visited friends and um, it was just I don't know as soon as we crossed over that bridge it was like so relaxing you know taking a deep breath and going you know it's here Bar Harbor 
so today it is kind of overcast it's been raining we've had some power outages so it's not the best weather and we are heading to south east harbor northeast northeast harbor and we'll see what the day gives us or brings us we decided to stop at the astaku inn and get some popovers which is a super super awesome treat however we were turned away because they were full up so we took a couple of pictures walked around and figured we'd come back another day and we continued on to our journey to southwest harbor it took us a while to get a parking spot but once we did we got out of the car and we walked down the path I'm speeding it up a little bit to the other side of Bass Harbor Lighthouse. Now there's a set of very steep stairs that take you down to a rocky cliff area that we visit every single year when we're here. Last year they started to do some restoration to the stairs and as you can see it's finished. I mean they, the wood is brand new, it looks really nice and once you're on this platform, of course you look down it's kind of, oh my gosh. But once you're on this platform, it's just a beautiful, beautiful view. And Jay and I walk down. And we, of course, take it easy, you know, being old folks. But at one point, some young kid just bypassed us on the stairs. I was like, oh, my gosh. But it is just a beautiful view. We one year caught up with friends that were sailing into Bar Harbor. And we actually came out here and watched them leave with their boat. It was It's just beautiful. Now, the rocky ledge in our younger years, we thought nothing of climbing down on the rocks and going way out and taking pictures of the lighthouse from this angle but as we get older we get a little bit more I think cautious or at least we realize what can happen when we break a bone or two and how long that can lay someone up so I really was very very careful walking down here I didn't have the appropriate shoes all I had on was flip-flops but you know, I took I took my time, made my way down the stairs. I let the kids all pass me, and we did get out to the rocks. Even Jay didn't climb out to the rocks as far as he normally does. So I, you know, we got there though. It was pretty. It was nice to see, and we just totally enjoyed it. And once we were done there and took all the pictures, we had to climb our way back up and once we did that we decided we were going to go to the other side the paved part which is I sped this up too so you didn't have to go slow but we walked down this whole paved area which we normally do and then you could see some storm damages anyways it was wicked 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 windy really windy but what a beautiful spot Bass Harbor Lighthouse it's just really pretty and it's just one of those spots on the edge of the ocean where literally I mean the, the majestic Atlantic Ocean you can see all sorts of wildlife nature by beautiful rocky cliffs and majestic ocean and a beautiful lighthouse perfect and then after all that walking and hiking it was the perfect time to try these chocolate protein and energy like that bars that were sent to me for review. I have to okay. tell you, these are built bar. They're 15 grams of protein, about 110 calories each, six grams of fiber, five net carbs. Mm -hmm. They are absolutely delicious. I'm going to do a full review on them in an upcoming video, but yummy stuff. I mean, totally yummy. What is it, Friday? <laughs> to stop yep. and think, what is it? I definitely need my wider lens. Hey, happy Friday, guys. Happy Friday. Jay and I decided to come up. Cadillac Mountain. To Cadillac Mountain today. And we're stuck on the hill going up. We're stuck on the hill going up. I don't know if you can see anything out there, but it is, I think this is like the 18th summer we've come up here. Yeah, at least. Even though we're, we're not in our motorhome, we still love coming up here. So we've come up in this mountain almost every trip I think just about yeah. yeah I don't think we I don't think we've ever missed a ride to Cadillac and we've never sat in traffic backed up this far oh never there have been times that we haven't been able to find a parking space that we've gone up driven the loop and coming back down but never sitting in traffic like this it's crazy so I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you a little bit of what we're seeing 
traffic. So I hope we make it. I hope we make it to the top because there are people that are turning around. Chicken barbecue games, music. Uh, they need to get a duct tape, but uh, can they ask me if I. And we slowly made it to a spot where we could actually park our car. We got around, walked all around out there, and then decided to walk up to the rest of the top of Cadillac, which we did. And once we were up there, you can see there are paths, that entrance way across the mountains. And it's just really, really beautiful. This overlooks Bar Harbor, Frenchman's Bay. Just the vistas are nonstop on top of Cadillac. We've often said that we wanted to come here because this is one of the first places in the East Coast or that you will ever see a sunrise. And we've never made it up there for sunrises. We have gone up for sunset a couple of times. People bring their folding chairs, they bring a picnic basket, they have bottles of wine, and they sit along the edge of the, the mountain and they watch the sunset. It's just absolutely beautiful. Last year, Jay and I came up and we decided we were going to do the sunset on the other side of Cadillac. It was so windy on that side, but we sat there and sat there and sat there only to have it all cloud in and we did not get to see any sunset at all. But it was one of those memory making trips. We laughed about it afterwards because we literally froze. Had the sunset happened, I don't think we would have gotten a decent shot because we were shaking from freezing so much. What you're looking at right now is Cadillac, is um, Bar Harbor. And that is Bar Island over there. And when the tide is low, you can walk over to that island. Some people have drive, driven and then the tide comes in and they get stuck there. So that Bar Island is a beautiful little island off of the town of Bar Harbor. And you can just see how majestic that waterfront looks. It's just absolutely gorgeous. There's no trip to Bar Harbor that's complete unless you go to Cadillac. Whether it's sunset, sunrise, or just in the middle of the day like we did, it is so worth a visit. So we've been doing a little hiking. I don't know if you can catch these views, but oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And we went back to the Astaku Inn after our hike and climb and exhausting ourselves on the mountain. And this time we got right in, got a beautiful seat on the edge of the water. He's having a mock mojito. No hito. Mojito. No hito. No, no hito. There's no booze in it. And where are we? Astaku Inn. I always pronounce it wrong. Northeast Harbor. Northeast Harbor. And then we drove down to downtown Bar Harbor proper and we actually found a parking space right on the pier and isn't it gorgeous? I mean just look at all these beautiful boats, the yachts, etc. We walked up the street, went in and out of some of the shops and then we went to this pathway that brings you down to the ocean and it's about a mile walk from that point or probably a little less back to where our car was parked so we decided we were going to do that walk and then head on back to the car <laughs> yeah I must be demon on I the way I sped up this clip but I wanted you to see it's quite a long walk from the road down here but then when you get down to the end it's just amazing the views are just non-stop it's a beautiful walkway winds all along the ocean the back of hotels the back of mansions just really pretty places there's plenty of places to sit you can either sit on a bench if you're so lucky to find one or on the edge on the water um, you know on the stone benches etc we took a few stops rested our little feet and then just continued on back to the car and made it back to our friend's campsite 
to maybe try to catch a sunset. But you know what? Every sunset up in Bar Harbor, this trip for us has been fogged in. But there's Jimmy on the edge of Western Bay. And now check out my two and a half pound lobster. That's gonna be close. That's gonna be a two pound. Two and a half. Two and a half. Look at this baby. Holy macaroni. Holy macaroni. Wow. And then we sat outside and had a fire. I think we stayed maybe about two hours and then very slowly made our way back to our motel because the plan was that we were going to get up super early the next morning and take a road trip to, we were gonna go up to West Quaddy Lighthouse in Lubeck, Maine, and then cross the border into Campobella Island and in Canada. We're off to Canada, Canada, Canada. Yeah, you got our Do we have our licenses? Do we have our passports? passports? Yeah, it should be right in here. You better check before we I go. I better double check. And here we are at the Quaddy Head State Lighthouse. This is the park. And, you know, this is just, it's a beautiful lighthouse. I mean, I think Maine just has so many gorgeous lighthouses. But as it says here, this is the most eastern point in the USA and Quaddy Head State Lighthouse. What a gorgeous spot with a gorgeous view. Check this out. Quaddy Head State Park is basically just about four miles off of the highway in Maine. It's in Lubeck, small little town, little spit of a town in the easternmost point in the United States. It kind of sits on about, I think, 541 acres, and it features over five and a half miles of hiking trails. It has forests, it has bogs, it has Gosh, so many beautiful plants, wildlife quarries, rock formations. There's places that you can sit, you can have a picnic, they have grills. They have just about everything, you know, someone could want. You could spend the day here. Outhouses, many grills, shade, sun, hikes, you name it, enough to keep you entertained for a day. So we always stop here. Next stop, Canada. We made it over the border just fine, and then this happened. We literally had to pull over, find a place to park because it became blinding. Hail, you just simply couldn't see. It was unbelievable. After waiting a little bit, it did pass, but it stayed dark and cloudy and a little bit of drizzly. We made it over to the oh, East the Quaddy again. Lighthouse, which is where we had really wanted to have a picnic. Oops, and it started to rain again. You can see Jay took off and left me here. I finally gave up and went back to the car too. And then it stopped and we went out again. But the East Quaddy Lighthouse in Campobello Island in uh, Canada is just absolutely beautiful. Many years we've come here, we've had a picnic, we've been able to sit outside and enjoy it, and we've actually at low tide been able to walk across the, we climb down some really treacherous stairs, lots of slippery rocks, but they allow you to walk across to the lighthouse grounds, and it's been amazing. We've been here when we've stood at the shore and watched whales jump. I've often said this is the only place that I could actually see whales while standing on land. And you can see there's no guardrails, there's nothing, but there's gorgeous, gorgeous vistas, even on a cloudy, cloudy day. Now this year, interestingly enough, when we got down to where you could normally climb down the stairs and cross over if it was low tide, they had it blocked off, they had it chained off. They were not allowing anyone to do that. So I don't know why, but that was the scoop. So, you know, maybe somebody fell, got hurt, because as you can see, it's pretty rough terrain. And once you do climb down those stairs and you do walk over, you've got to go across slippery seaweed. You've got to climb up rocks, down rocks, through little tiny staircases, you know, metal staircases and stuff like that to just even get over there. But it's always been well worth the walk over there, in our opinion, because it's just beautiful to be out there on the edge 
of the ocean. So see how pretty it is? And it's low tide. It really killed us to not be able to walk over there. But we got here anyways. And then we went to the international park that is Franklin, Delaware, Roosevelt, Roosevelt Summer Park. Home. And we had a picnic here. We haven't even gone in yet, but we decided to take advantage of the shelter to have our picnic since we got drenched over at the East Quaddy Lighthouse. Drenched. And after we had our picnic, we walked down to, at the end of the park, I guess it's where they used to bring Franklin Delaware Roosevelt down so he could either get on his sailboat or get off his sailboat. The grounds are absolutely beautiful. They have a museum. You can tour his, his summer home. You can tour his family's home. It's like a little compound. And then they have a museum building where they have all sorts of history about Franklin, about Eleanor, about the whole Roosevelt clan, including Teddy. And it's just really phenomenal. It's all free and beautifully, beautifully upkept grounds. And you can walk all around. Coming down here, Jay and I walk down. It's a bit of a hill. So if you're, you know, like hills, you might have a little bit of a hard time, but it's a really easy walk for us. And we just sat and we enjoyed and we just kind of, Imagine what it might have been like here when he was alive. So it's kind of interesting to know that a U.S., a United States president had a summer home and grew up in this summer home in Canada on Camp Abella Island. That's why it's an international park, because it's a very historical significance for the folks in Canada as well, especially Camp Abella, as it is for us U.S. citizens visiting Canada seat with a view and we made our way back through the traffic down to Bar Harbor to have drinks and dinner so our last night dinner okay. and we're gonna have it with a lovely little view at the chat house in Bar Harbor so, cheers everyone and after a quick dinner, we decided to take one more ride through the park. And at this time of day, there wasn't a whole lot of traffic at all. So it was actually really nice. We stopped at the scenic overview, which is always interesting to see it from this perspective, because of course, when you're on top of Cadillac, you see the same view, it looks completely different. So we drove through the park, we saw some wildlife, some deer, and then we made our way up to Bubble Pond. This is at Jordan Pond House. We didn't go in because the place was closed, but this was it for our trip to Bar Harbor 2019. Isn't it gorgeous here?